hi everyone welcome to a new video this video is all about how to use vshop ai in case if you have very little idea about vshop so i'll tell you it is a platform that is based on ai here let's say if you have a shirt that you want to sell but you don't have any good image to post on social media so you can just simply paste that shirt image here and later on it will put that shirt on a person and you can use that image on your social media so to use this platform is very easy and very simple you have to go to the browser and there you have to search for vshop ai or you can find its link in the description below either you can go with the link in the description or the link that you have find from the result once you click onto that you will get onto its website once you get there you just have to simply go for this try for free option or if you already have an account then you can just simply sign up once you get there you just have to use any email of your choice or gmail to just simply get register yourself here once you register yourself with your email address it will take you up here now on the left side we have different options like you can use this many queen option you can use the moral option product toy and other options as well so first i'm gonna go with this second option which is moral where i'll put an image here in which a person is standing wearing a shirt then I want that same shirt or maybe that dress on another person. So for that first we have to use this reference image therefore you have to upload it from your system. So this is a dress that I want but I don't want this person. I want the same dress but someone else wearing it. Therefore I have selected this one picture. Once you have enabled this option edit just simply click on to it and after that you just have to choose which part of that shirt you would like to choose or whatever part of image you want once you have selected you just have to simply click on this done option and after that that part will be selected later on what you can do is that you just have to simply go with the description you can simply type it here whatever option you would like to type or you can just choose from template like what you need and in prompt you can also add any kind of prompt so here i'm just gonna choose any one of these one up here and after choosing it you just have to scroll down and then you can choose what kind of background you need so there we have different kind of backgrounds available you can choose according to nature of your image or your product or whatever you like then just simply click on generate and after that it will start just generating it here it will just take like a minute or maybe few seconds to generate while you just have to wait for it here you can see the time has just completed and it has just generated four different images so these images the person is wearing the same dress that i selected from the previous image once you open any one of these image it will show you the previous image and the new image that it has generated so you can see the comparison between them so here i have the simply opened it and there you can see the difference but i forget to remove the background therefore it did not include it a new one so therefore i'm just going to create another one so therefore i'm just clicking onto this option new one and now i'm just going to choose another image so here is the image of this person i only want this dress not this person therefore what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to select this shirt and will not select any other thing so you just have to simply click on the part that you want to select make sure you're not selecting any other part and once you're done you can either go with the description or you can just simply go with the template so the description and the prompt is almost same you can choose any one of these and whatever option you would like to create you can just simply type it here let's say you want to see a person wearing the same shirt but standing in a grocery store you can just simply type it here or if you want to see that person somewhere else you can just simply explain it and if you would like to add other things you can also do that once you are done with your prompt you can also read some of the information but otherwise if you're okay then simply click on generate and it will start generating the image here it takes few seconds therefore we have to wait and here you can see that it has generated four different images here it has generated as same as i told it to like i said that i need a background of a grocery store and it, it added and it has also selected the image of that dress very perfectly so that's how it all works you just have to simply add any kind of product maybe any dress and it will replicate it i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates and i really appreciate you watching this video till the very end and thank you so much for it